What's up guys? So we're living in some crazy times. Right now it is October, 2024. The election between Trump and Kamala Harris is coming up in, on November 5th. So uh, yeah, that's literally just a couple weeks away. So I figured I'd make this video to talk to you guys to let you know that um, I think things could go crazy no matter which direction it goes. I don't care what your your political beliefs are. Um, if Trump wins, I think the radicals on on the left will do something crazy because they just don't like him. They they hate him, right? And uh, the Antifa and BLM and Hamas supporters, whatever you call it they're gonna lose their minds and do something crazy, probably protesting at first, and then it'll devolve into riots in the streets once the sun goes down, firebombing city hall and police stations and burning cop cars and all that stuff, right? That stuff is probably gonna happen. Uh, and that happened, remember that happened uh, when George Floyd, that whole thing happened in 2020. Uh, and if Kamala Harris wins, there are some groups out there that are radical, and uh, they may see that as a call to action. Oh no, here's the beginning of uh, tyranny. She's gonna take away our, our rights, and uh, they're gonna tax us to smithereens, and <laughs> they're gonna give billions away to other countries, and uh, you know, you name it. The, the, the radicals on, on this side are gonna be like, it's time to rise up, you know, and, and fight to take the country back or whatever. Dumb things may happen on both sides, right? I pray that none of that happens, but I'm just trying to be realistic here. I think there's radicals on both sides that could do something stupid and then it'll lead into chaos, right? Which we've already seen in 2020 with George Floyd. Cities being burnt, right? That being said, which guns should you buy before all crap hits the fan? <laughs> what guns do I think that you should buy? No matter what you believe in, just to defend yourself and your family, your spouse and your kids, your family, right? What guns should you buy if you don't already own them already? Well, I think you should own at least one of these three types of guns. You should own a handgun of some type. I don't care if it's a revolver, a semi-automatic, what caliber, I don't care. You should have some type of handgun or an AR-15, which is the most popular rifle in the United States, for good reason. You should have one, and I'll tell you why here in a minute. All right. Or you should have a shotgun, a 12-gauge shotgun to be specific. I don't care if it's some automatic, pump action, Remington, Mossberg, Winchester, I don't care. But some type of shotgun, right? All right, so you should have at least one of these guns for self-defense, if not all of them. Uh, I know a lot of my viewers already have all these, but a lot of my other viewers don't have any of these. I have family members that don't have any of these. I have family members on both sides that live in red states and blue states uh, who are Republicans and Democrats. <laughs> I've even had family members not even talk to each other because of this whole political thing, which breaks my heart, but we're kind of going down the rabbit, rabbit hole, right? It's a whole nother video. So let's talk about which guns that you, sh you should buy. So uh, start off with a pistol. If you don't already own a pistol, by the way, that magazine is empty, chamber's empty. Uh, this is a Glock 17 P80 build. Um, I'm not saying you need this, but some form of handgun, anything other than your empty hands, right? A handgun, a revolver, I don't care. Uh, this one's nice though, because this is based off of Glock 17, which is a full size nine millimeter. It's same thing that a lot of law enforcement carry and a lot of military carry as far as caliber goes and size goes. It holds 17 rounds, which is a lot of rounds. Um, this one has a Surefire X300 on it, so I can see in the dark, right? If I needed to see in the dark, if something happens at night, I highly recommend that. I put a threaded barrel on here because I have suppressors, which comes in handy. So you don't blow your eardrums out. If you're shooting indoors in your house, you don't blow your eardrums out. You need your eardrums so you can hear. 
All right, I put a red dot on there because I'm getting old. I think red dots are awesome. Just train with them. But yeah, this is a nice option, a full size nine millimeter, basically a Glock, Glock 17. Um, you can put it on a holster, right? If you have a holster on your hip, this is the best part about handguns. Put it in the holster on your hip and you can carry it with you 24 hours a day, even sleep with it on. That's the biggest selling point. You're not gonna be able to sleep with an AR-15 on your shoulder all night long. You're not gonna be able to sleep with a shotgun slung on your shoulder all night long. Good luck trying. <laughs> you may be able to put it next to your bed, but it's not on you. So no matter what happens, there's no reaching for anything. It's on you. You just get behind cover, draw, and take care of business, right? Again, I'm exaggerating a little bit, but you get my point. You could sleep with this on you. More importantly, it could just stay on you all day, all night, meaning that it's on you when you're cooking, it's on you when you're in the bathroom, it's on you when you're in the front yard, it's on you, right? Maybe it's hidden and concealed so no one can see it and people don't freak out, but you're still armed and ready to deal with something that may pop up, right? This is the best tool you could possibly have, I think, uh, if there's only one weapon that you could buy before the end of the year, if you don't have a handgun, you should probably get one. Again, depending on where you live in the United States, you might not be able to carry it on you concealed. I live in a state where you can carry concealed. Some states do constitutional carry where you don't even need a permit. You can just buy it, carry it, cover it up, and you're good to go. That's on you. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just saying if this is probably one of the best options when it comes to uh, self-defense, compact, lots of bullets, <laughs> and with practice, you can be fairly accurate. And of course, tactics are gonna be probably the biggest um, factor. When to shoot, when not to shoot, and what to do after you shoot, right? All that stuff comes into play, all right? That's a whole nother video though, but get yourself a handgun if you don't have one. All right, moving on. So say you don't have access to handguns, but there is an AR-15 available at your local gun store, or maybe someone's selling an AR-15. Well, why would you want an AR-15? Well, the reason why is because an AR-15, like this one here, shoots the 5.56 rifle round. Rifle rounds are more powerful than most handguns in general, right? This is, shoots the 2.23 or 5.56 round. It's effective from one inch to at least 400 yards, 500 yards, at a minimum, at least, right? accurate from one inch to 400 yards easily because it shoots a rifle round that goes faster and straighter right of course this one's a little bit unique i have a suppressor on here this one has a folding stock i got a red dot on here but it holds 30 rounds that's a lot of firepower that's my opinion get an ar-15 you don't have to get this kind uh, you could just get just your standard AR-15 with a 16-inch barrel, a cheap Smith & Wesson M&P for $500. Uh, there's all kinds. You can get an expensive one, like a Daniel Defense that costs $3,000. It doesn't really matter. An AR-15 is an AR-15 at the end of the day. It shoots 30 rounds, has a 16-inch barrel. This one's a little bit customized. I can put a suppressor on here. This one has a light for seeing in the dark. I highly recommend that. Uh, good optic. This one's a, a red dot with a range capability on the inside with the ACSS reticle. It can shoot out to you know, 600 yards. So a little bit more capabilities, but my point is one inch to 400, 500 yards with this rifle is no problem. Force multiplier, right? If you had to deal with five guys and you have this, you're not a soft, easy target to take out. Uh, they may still be able to get you but you're not gonna go out easily when you have something like this changing the game, all right? If you're a female, if you're a senior citizen, if you're handicapped, um, this will make you a hard target. <laughs> this will make you difficult to overpower if you're a female or if you're a senior citizen or handicapped, right? You don't have to have big muscles. You don't have to be a Navy SEAL, but you got one of these, you're a force to be reckoned with. All right, you kind of get the point now, right, where I'm going with this. Now, if you don't have access to a pistol, you can't find one, can't buy one, can't find any uh, AR-15s, only thing left on the shelf are shotguns. Well then, 
by all means, buy it. If it's a 18 inch shotgun like this one here, this is a Mossberg 500, very basic. I think these are like $300 brand new. I put a couple extras on here, but in general, it's a $300 shotgun. Absolutely phenomenal tool. This is a howitzer of a weapon. And what I mean by that, if you don't know, shotguns can shoot dozens of different types of ammo. If you load this up with um, double lot buck, that's nine rounds coming down range all at the same time. Nine rounds. Boom, nine rounds down range. Does that guarantee a hit? No, it doesn't guarantee a hit. You can still miss, but your hit probability is, is increased by nine because <laughs> it spreads out as it goes down range, right? And if you hit the target with all nine rounds, well, then they're probably done for the day, getting hit by nine rounds all at once. It's like kind of like a poor man's machine gun. <laughs> you can also load it with slugs, one ounce slugs, big, huge ball of lead, one ounce slug going down range. Even if the, the, the target has body armor, you get hit with a slug, it's like getting punched by King Kong. Pretty amazing tool. Also, slugs can go through doors, they go through glass, they go through sheet metal on cars. They penetrate very well. So, just something to consider. The downside is they're slow to uh, cycle. It's not like an AR-15 where it's semi-automatic or a pistol that's semi-automatic. Shotguns are like bang, chick, chick, bang, chick, chick, bang. It's kind of slow. There's, there's pros and cons. It all boils down to training, right? But in general, this is not a bad tool to have. Like Biden said, get yourself a shotgun. He wasn't wrong. I wouldn't recommend sticking out the window and popping off a few blasts to scare people away. That's illegal. I can't believe he actually said that, but um, I don't recommend doing that. But get yourself some training uh, if you get yourself a shotgun. Pretty awesome, right? So there you go, guys. That is my opinion on what three guns I think you should get before uh, November 5th, before the elections, before all hell breaks loose, if all hell breaks loose. Um, people have opinions. Oh, no, you should get this, you should get that. Oh, what about bolt actions? Oh, what about AK-47s? Or what about crossbows? And what about this and that? Whatever. If you have a better opinion, leave a comment below and tell me what your opinion is. All right, guys. Hit that like button to support my channel. I appreciate it. Helps me out a lot. Ring the bell to be notified when I upload new videos. And leave a comment below. Let me know what you think you should do as far as firearms go before the election. Thanks a lot, guys. Take care.